scribes of the day, they're not willing to write down what God is doing in the earth. But things are taking place in the earth that, that only those that are experienced, those that see it, will report it. You hear me? Yes. Now I'm going to tell you something. God's not dead. He's alive. Yes. He's alive. Yes. He's alive. and he's moving into the United States. That's There's right. a wave of revival that's taking place. That's and right. you and I, you've got to make a decision whether you're going to walk on the wave or step into the wave of revival or you're going to be on the outside looking in. And God wants to use you. He wants to use you to touch the lives of those that are around you, those that are in your area of influence. And you must say Yes. yes. That's right. Yes. Not Lord, how? Not Lord, not me. No, but yes, yes. Lord. Mm -hmm. The Lord hath need of you. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and he wants to use you for his glory. Do you think, Carmen, do you think that you just happen to fill out the application, get the job, and you're just there? No. God has strategically placed you there so that his glory within you can flow out of you. Amen. I love it. It's like a CIA agent placed strategically. You don't have to go with your big Bible. Walking around. My grandma used to have one bigger than this. You show up at, at the workplace with your big Bible. I'm Christian. <laughs> like a badge. You don't have to do that. You ever find somebody does something wrong? Bam! Uh, yeah, with the word. That's right. That ain't right! I used to have, I used to have th uh, thoughts of God being like that. Did you trace? When I was a kid, I had thoughts of God. He, he on his throne with a big, his spiritual baseball bat, and every time I mess up, Bam! <laughs> Go upside your head. Oh, you missed it. No, that's not what we're called to do. But God's glory, his presence, his love, his peace, yes. his wisdom is within you. Yes. And there are going to be others that come to you wondering, what should I do in this situation? Right. What should I do here? Oh, well, why are you coming to me? No, because the presence of the Lord is within you. That's right. And, and people will be drawn to you. Not because of your great personality, you have a great one, but not because of that, but because of the Spirit of God that's with you. Yes. And so God places us strategically in places. That's right. And he wants to use you there because we live in where we live in, in a corrupt world. Yes. But God has placed us here with his Spirit to Amen. touch the lives of those around us. And there'll be some that don't want to hear it. There'll be some that don't like you. They don't like you. They don't like you because of... Really, the spirit that's in you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I just got grown enough to where now, <laughs> like me. I'm not here for you to like me. <laughs> oh, oh, you don't like me. Oh, that's just one, one off the list. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> right? So no, 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 no. And it's not about that. It's right. about me living the life you and I living the life that God's called us to live so that we can impact someone else's life. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. Amen. Amen. Now people say, and they, they say to me, you're different. You're weird. You're weird. No. I, I, I'm, I got Jesus on the inside of me. That's what makes me different. Mm -hmm. And I'm just willing now. I don't even care what you think about it. Yeah? I think that's where we have to be. Let me shut up now. If you want to come over to the house, bring some food, and we can preach some more there. Okay. <laughs> what time? Uh -huh. <laughs> Just a joke. <laughs> yes. We love the Lord. I'm going to say this to you in all seriousness. The message we preach today, if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, it's going to do you no good. That's Say right. Again, the message we preach today, if you do not have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, it'll do you no good.